Hi, I'm back with the better Newman motor completed. This is part two. And it was pretty interesting. I learned a couple of ways not to build a Newman motor. If you watch the first part of this, you remember I was going to reverse the winding in the top coil. Well, that turned out not to work. The motor wouldn't run at all with it wound uh, differently from the one below it. I think the coils canceled out the fields and it just wouldn't run at all. So I had to unwind that and I learned something good about unwinding a coil. If you have to do that, wind, unwind it onto another spool. If you unwind it onto the floor, you end up with a ball of stuff all knotted up that you can't use. Uh, I will use this though, not to worry. I'll use it as a part of a collector, cover it with aluminum foil. I'll make a good collector for a Chelsea coil. The other thing I learned was the simple commutator didn't work. This motor really needs AC to run properly and that's what this commutator is doing is changing this DC into AC. With the simple one it would, I could use pulse DC as long as I pulsed it just once per rotation. If I tried to pulse it twice per rotation, the second, when I hand cycled it, I could see that the first pulse was, was getting a, a pull, and then the second pulse it was like kicking back. So I ended up putting a commutator like I had on a previous Newman motor that converts this DC into AC. And then it worked just fine. It does require a hefty voltage to run and it uh, takes a considerable amount of current so I don't think it's a very efficient motor. But let's see if it's running now. This little motor still can be run but you have to get it up to the speed of this one. You have to sync them up and then it'll run just fine. There it goes. And it does put out some, you know, just put out some feel. This is uh, Lid Motors Little Maggie that I replicated. As you can see, it uh, puts out a pretty good field. And this is just magnetism running that, that motor. It runs much more smoothly than the previous one I built, but I think that's not due to the shape, it's due to the fact that I balanced this much better than I did previously. I balanced it both with the, where the magnets are and also laterally. So it's pretty well balanced. This is blowing a bunch of air out of here. Anyway, it was a fun project. I'm glad it's over.